on April 26th, the China Human Rights Lawyers Group issued a statement to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the CCP stripping Tang Jitian and Liu Wei of their lawyer licenses. The group also called on the CCP to comply with international conventions as well as the constitution to protect human and lawyers' rights. In the statement, the Chinese Human Rights Lawyers Group stated that the CCP launched revised laws in 2010 and wrongfully revoked Liu Wei and Tang Jitian's licenses. The CCP authorities demonstrated their arrogance by abusing power and persecuting human rights lawyers. The CCP's suppression of human rights lawyers can be traced back before 2010. One notable case is Gao Zhisheng, a well-known human rights lawyer whose license was stripped by the CCP and was secretly abducted and tortured in 2006 for representing Falun Gong practitioners, Christians, and other faith groups. Human rights lawyer Wang Youhang from Dalian was also secretly detained in July 2009 for representing a Falun Gong case. He was then illegally sentenced to seven years, the heaviest among all human rights lawyers at the time. He was tortured while imprisoned. Lawyer Peng Yongfeng breaks down the deeper reasons behind the CCP's mass persecution of human rights lawyers. What are their deeper reasons? For these persecuted groups, especially the cruel persecution of Falun Gong practitioners, every case has a bloody story behind it. The CCP did not want these stories to be exposed. With all these human rights lawyers involved in cases like these, it is in fact further exposing the CCP's brutality. The CCP is afraid of more human rights lawyers coming forth to provide legal assistance to Falun Gong practitioners. What it didn't expect is that the suppression seems useless. Instead, it encourages more human rights lawyers to come forward. After 2010, as human rights lawyers persisted in human rights cases, their situation worsened continuously. In 2015, the 709 crackdown targeting them had reached a peak. The 709 crackdown started with petitioner Xu Chunhe, who was shot cruelly in front of his mother and children. The incident triggered public anger. Human rights lawyers in China issued their largest joint statement in history, with 660 signatures in support of Xu. More than 20 human rights lawyers who supported Xu were then detained by the police, leading to a mass arrest. Beginning on July 9, 2015, the 709 crackdown involved the CCP's police rounding up, interrogating, and arresting about 300 human rights lawyers, legal assistants, and activists. Up to 23 provinces were involved across the country. Dr. Zhao Zhongyuan met many lawyers because of his participation in human rights activities. He said even before the 709 crackdown, the CCP's suppression of the human rights movement had already begun with many well-known human rights lawyers being arrested. Before 709, there was the Jian San Jiang incident. I remember four lawyers, including Jiang Tian Yong, Tang Ji Tian, Wang Chen, and Zhang Junjie, went to Jian San Jiang prison in Heilongjiang province to rescue Falun Gong practitioners detained there. The CCP then arrested these lawyers. At that time, they aroused solidarity from all over the country and the police later had to release them. However, they were already tortured inside. Zhao Zhongyuan said that the CCP's 709 persecution of lawyers included torture, force-feeding unknown drugs, restrictions on freedom, illegally revoking lawyers' licenses, and restrictions on travel. These people have more than 20 broken ribs, 24 I think, actually more than that. Tang Ji Tian himself has more than 20 broken ribs. His sternum, the front and the back, and his ribs were all broken. The x-ray from when they were under police surveillance showed nothing wrong. They came out and took other exams. The result showed all bones were broken. The CCP threatened hospitals to not give Tang Jitian treatment. With a friend's help, he was sent to Zhao Zhongyuan's clinic to receive treatment. He recovered gradually after half a year. Through treating these human rights lawyers, Zhao Zhongyuan heard their experiences of the CCP's persecution. These lawyers' integrity moved Zhao, and he also deeply understood the CCP's evil. Zhao Zhongyuan said many human rights lawyers' licenses were revoked by the CCP, that they could not make a living and their families were affected, yet they still persisted on speaking out, and he feels their actions are very admirable. 
He called on the public's attention to help these lawyers, as they are the backbone of the country. Through 2018 to 2019, the CCP revoked a large number of human rights lawyers' licenses, including Beijing lawyers Yu Wensheng, Xie Yanyi, and Li Heping, Guangdong lawyer Sui Muqing, Hunan lawyer Wen Donghai, and more. There are also a number of human rights lawyers still imprisoned, illegally incarcerated, and some were forced to go into exile. Since 2010, human rights lawyers have suffered 10 years of hardship. China human rights lawyers stated, Faced with a decade of darkness, Chinese human rights lawyers have not given up their pursuit in love of freedom, democracy, and constitutional rights. Our belief in human rights protection in a China with the rule of law is unshakable. We will stand firm and continue to fight on this land we love. We will continue to be on the front lines of defending human rights, safeguarding the rule of law. For social fairness and justice, we will continue to cry and call for alliance.